guest is extremely talented and very sharp and um, so smart and so funny. And so once I kind of understood and knew the group of people that we were going to be working with on this, um, I knew that I could really, really uh, push the boundaries and really go for really extravagant choreography um, because I knew they could handle it and I knew they would perform it beautifully. I think the most surprising thing is that how effortless that cast makes this look. They are having so much fun and every number, sometimes I just start laughing out loud with joy watching them, um, but it is extremely difficult. It, it takes a specific kind of brain to be able to deliver this kind of material with that level of energy. Um, and sometimes I'm thinking like, how did we get so lucky to get this amazing, amazing, exuberant, joyful, wonderful, talented group of people to put on this show. Um, but they are working so very hard and you would never know how much work was put in. You're just gonna enjoy it when you come see it and you're just gonna be swept away in the story and filled with their joy. Oh my God, oh my God, you guys. I'll just start with the obvious one, jump ropes. There's jump ropes in a, in a giant production number where in um, Whipped Into Shape, um, there's a, an incredibly taxing dance number and they're also jumping rope while they do it. That just stamina wise and dance wise and choreography wise and storytelling wise is very difficult. Not to mention they are singing a killer song as they're jumping rope. So I use that as an example because it has all of the elements that we've sort of been talking about. It has a prop element, it has a storytelling element, and it has a choreography element. Um, and every number is like that. But that's really a very obvious one where I can talk about where you can see the jump rope. But um, what you want is a 10 minute uh, show unto itself that is extremely heavy in scenic prop, and choreography and vocals. Um, and I would say the biggest challenge is sort of really, really balancing all of those elements every time. Sort of the research element of pre-production, you will look for source material. Sometimes it's a book, sometimes it's a play, sometimes it's a poem, sometimes it's a collection of songs. This, we had an entire movie, not to mention a, I have to give credit where credit is due, a beautifully filmed um, version that was broadcast on MTV with the original Broadway cast. So um, you have not only the source material, but you have source material that you can draw upon from the original Broadway cast. And that's pretty rare. More and more it becomes um, it's more common now, um, but you know we don't have that for Oklahoma. <laughs> we have to dig through books. We have to or read you know little snippets of people's biographies and kind of piece together you know how it came to be. But for this, we have a brilliant movie that is so popular and well loved, and we have really great archival footage of the cast that that brought it to life. Oh my God, this is happening. 